Hello and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines with yours truly Lord the Hindu the Mad. And last time we had some encounters with three headed ladies with three torsos and all sorts of you know unusual things. People people usually don't have that many of all that. And with all of all that, she was a serious danger to my health. In fact, she gave me several final deaths, none of which I liked. But these blokes, they're not that bad. They're just doing their thing, but these ladies... No, they, they, they are meanies. They are very, very mean. They want you to get a gun, and then you have to run around with a gun. How about the shotgun? Pardon me, I need to reload. Nope, almost missed my tunnel. Yeah, and when they hit, that hurts. Hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that shotgun out for the moment. And that's when we find out that this part of the map actually held nothing but some heads, a truey boy and a nudist. Well they're all nude, so you know what I mean. Oh, weapons are getting some use. That's new. Alright, let's save and continue our very hazardous adventure in these here sewers. Another one? Really? Let's give Jamie Sewer This weapon needs a fair bit more accuracy than I can provide. So not when she's right in her face. Or standing still. that I can take advantage of. Oh, I forgot to loot them box this time. That's fair. Please enjoy your day. But I don't want any part of it. Okay, I'm running very low on ammo for most things. But my health is regenerating, so at least is that going for me. That goes upstairs. This is a dead end. And that is another one of those boys. Girls. Girls and boys. I feel like it's not really a soul. There's a bit of friendship going on. Uh, give me a moment, please. Yeah. 
Artemis. Okay. So our next weapon is once again this. The Uzi. But if you run into a melee person, we're gonna go melee with them. Because I prefer melee. Though I think that is the most melee of the enemies out here. Okay, there was a bit upstairs, I want to check it out. Since this seems to go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. like there was someone else here. But that someone else looks to be dead now. I ran over here into a final death. Not a healthy thing to do. But to be fair, my health hasn't exactly been best here either. I wonder if they'll miss him. This pretty guy of this here tunnel. That's a dead end. Uh, let's have a snack just so we have more health. Because there is no pleasure in dying. And let's hope we never meet these creatures again. After exiling them from the sewers. Save right here. This is the stand. Well, it seems to me I'm supposed to go down that central tunnel over there. Do it without initiating the combat. Which is honestly impressive. For me at least. Yes, I'm impressed with myself. I'm allowed to be. On occasion anyway. Alright, so what do we need to do? A fatal error has occurred, you should panic it now. 931 2004, your system will now explode. It is now Safe to go to your happy place. Press the any key to help others learn to read. Press control, control, control to donate money to me. You know the computers will soon take over by fight it. Press any key to continue. Okay. Is there another console I can use? meant to go? With the looks of it, yes. Right. 
Alright, then that's good news. We're finally on a road to somewhere where we can actually go. And that is not full of monsters. If the whispers I'm hearing are the locals or my brain. Ooh, that water is nasty. Good to know. Greetings, Creed Master. What? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh my god, are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> Might I speak with you, Gonzo Chucky? Uh, Alright, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow, you really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Perhaps some other time for this tango. Huh? Tango? <laughs> you came to the wrong place for dance lessons. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot you're Malkavia. You got more than a few bugs in the software, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, but uh, that's a tech problem I can't fix. Who are you, Joe Boy? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> Why surprised, Binary Boy? I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> I see Carrie, king of the script. Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. I come to Drake's village, not wall. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> I need to nose around in your noggin. Go ahead. Where is Script King's lair? His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find right, him. Right, we already asked this. Yeah. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> just in a different way. Go ahead. Tell me of this underworld. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. Then the world seems devoid of demons. There's more of us than you'd think. They're around. But you won't see too many of the brood down here. But they'll be watching you. <laughs> I need to know around and you're not gonna lose more. How do you fit into this grid? Me? Like I said, I'm I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep a pulse on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. What? I see a secret web spun by scaring rodents. <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. 
Keeper secret to the rat. And what does this first map? I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Perhaps I can spin some webs of my own. Y yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way and make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> I will spin this secret web. Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Alright, I am no... Oh, tell me your tale, Concert Cowboy. Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I ran across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. Describe it. Was, uh, uh, those Falatu database. Not even a really important one either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while. Got totally freaked out and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, he ran. The Crypt King napped you and fuckified your face. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna wear any beauty contrast, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Okay, uh, is there anything else I can ask you? No. Bye bye. Okay, can I enter this store? No. How about this one? Hi. Bitch, I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month. Your voice is wobbly. I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? Who is this cheese queen? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. Ugh. Often I enjoy a fluffing with my Vivisections. What? Oh, no, you've got to be kidding. You're a Malkavian? Gary actually lets you guys in here? My day just went from bad to coach class. Tell me of this Tawny Sessions. Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. And who might you be? Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is... Do you have a name after your name? Last name? God, that's so blue collar, it makes me want to puke. I don't have a last name. Imalia's a look, an attitude, a state of being. Why this terrible hatred of Tony? Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it. Which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. The camera is being very mean to you. Why not just kill this fluffy little kitten? I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in a business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. What is stopping this tabloidian tenacity? Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big fat ass. Perhaps I might extend the helping hand. 
I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. What more? Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. What do you hope to capture on these uh, lascivious lenses? Who cares? Sex, drugs, bad hygiene. Everyone gets a little dirty when the door is closed. Tawny's no different and probably worse than most. And my reward for this wretched little recon? Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? Might I mind your grey matter? Sure, whatever. How come... How came you to our cursed condition? Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. And then? Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. Fate is often a harsh headmaster. Yeah, the lesson is... Life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? Might I mind your right cream matter? Sure, whatever. I see Gary, king of the script. His room is just down the hall. You might be able to find him in there. Your voice is... not consistent. Might I mind your cream matter? Sure, whatever. Tell me again of your mischievous machinations. I have some wireless cameras. Right. What more? Once the cameras are... Yes. And... Look. I will do this. You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Alright. Anything else? Sure. Whatever. Uh, no. I wish the subtitles got... I mean, I wish the whispers got subtitles as well. Okay, I think we are approaching Carrie's chamber. It's that low in this particular part of the tunnel, and it looks like this rat has been nomsed. Right, doors. The most cursed enemy. By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only. Boss. Voice, I don't see you. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. You don't sound anything like the voice in my head. Maybe I killed the voice in your head, boss. Hmm. You amuse me, new voice. What voice did make much sense? Tell me. The voice in your head. Why are you down here? You can trust me, boss. If you're in my head, then you already know. You tell me. Think carefully. Who are you here for? And why? My mom told me never to talk to figments of my imagination. You lost, boss. As always. I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. I've got a nines, a jack, and a prince, and you were about to deal me a queen. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? Where are you? I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. 
Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? You want something? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. I'm here for that old box. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. Tell me the tale of the box. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. So you have a copy of the receipt? I like to discuss business face to face. And face me. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Nightmares are all I've got. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> He's a good actor, isn't he? I'm on it. Behind you, boss. Boo! Hi, and you are? What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. A little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Charmed. The books? Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? I saved the voice from the Fiend's children. Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? Maybe those things that come out of holes that you hit with a hammer? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. I'm supposed to be risking the box. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You want me on the case because I don't play by the rules. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? No, it was one of the you voices. for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. What must I subject myself to? The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. How do I enter the minefield without getting blown up? Let's see what I got. Use your head and your eyes. Chinatown's more liable to offer you than ten Hollywoods. But not if you're smart. Is her blood not feuding? Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Why doesn't your voice sound there? Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Sounds dangerous. Got anything I can use to protect myself? Let's see what I got. Just advice. Use your head and your eyes. Right. Hmm, I will go to China, but do not cross me, voice. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then... You'll never know where I am.
I'm done before it began. Okay. Cool. Are you standing here? Is that why I can't put a bust here? I want to go look in your secret chamber. This is a secret chamber at all. This is this above the surface. I think. I think I explored most of what I can from this place right now. So I didn't go down some paths at all. Let's hope for the best. Alright. Did I get stuck in the door already? Looked like it. That's always fun. Okay, so a little bit this way, a little bit that way. Yes, that should be the way out. And then I should just leave the graveyard and go about my own business, right? Yeah. No zombies out tonight, which is always a good sign. Let's see if I can pick up any ammo. Yeah, I can. Oh, I'm full of that ammunition, but I'm certainly not full of this ammunition. That's good. There was a lot of shotgun ammo used on those creatures in the tunnels. Yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And we will go and talk to Isaac again and then probably head to Chinatown or something. Yeah, bye bye.